Hello and welcome to the Beautiful Silks tutorial, Nuno Felting with Elena Kamenkovic. Elena is a Nuno Felt artist and designer, and today she'll share her Nuno Felting technique to make a scarf. This is what you'll need. A black Georgette silk scarf, measuring 2 meters by 30 centimeters. 100 grams of fine wool top. 25 grams of Tussa silk top silk embroidery thread, a piece of tissue silk, a length of bubble wrap that is 20 centimetres wider and longer than your scarf, nylon netting that is 10 centimetres wider and longer than your scarf, detergent, water, a bottle with holes in the lid, a small piece of plastic or a plastic shopping bag, a pool noodle or cardboard roll, a towel, two large containers, vinegar, a kettle, and an iron. Step 1. Lay out your piece of bubble wrap with the bubbles facing down. Lay your silk scarf on top of the bubble wrap and ensure there are no wrinkles on the surface. For this particular design, we'll lay down a thin, even layer of wool leaving approximately 10 centimetres of space around the edges. This will create a frill around your finished scarf. There are many products available to embellish your Nuno felting, but today we'll use only a few. Begin with some silk thread. Simply lay it down on top of your wool surface. Tuck the ends of the thread under a piece of wool to keep it secure. Tussa silk fibre is also a beautiful embellishment Lay it out in small, fine amounts, much like the wool top. Extra pieces of tissue silk have also been added as embellishments to this piece. When you've finished laying out your design, add more wool top in a fine layer over the embellishments to help hold them down. Step 2. Take the net and carefully lay it over your design. Mix one part detergent to ten parts warm water in a container and then pour this into a bottle with holes punched in the lid. Shake the soapy water over your scarf until it's damp. Using a piece of plastic, gently rub over the scarf to help saturate the work. Then, moving your hand in circles, Work up a lather. Step 3. Using a thick cylinder such as your pool noodle or cardboard roll, roll up the length of your scarf with the bubble wrap. Then roll this in a towel. Putting your weight behind the action, roll the wrapped scarf 200 times. Unroll the scarf and carefully remove the net, making sure not to pull the scarf off the bubble wrap. Check over your design. Roll up your work again. Repeat the process of rolling and unrolling until you've rolled the scarf approximately a thousand times. This is a great arm workout. Step four. Take your scarf off the bubble wrap and lay out a towel. Now you will begin the process of fulling. Repeatedly throw your scarf down onto the towel. This shocks the wool fibres and helps them to bind together. Alternate this with rubbing the scarf on the bubble wrap. Ensure the bubbles face upwards to create friction. Repeat both these actions several times. 
You can now see how the wool fibres have worked their way through the silk scarf. The tusser embellishments have also become crinkled with the shrinking of the wool. Step 5. After your scarf has significantly shrunk, rinse it in a container of cold water. In another container, mix 30 ml of vinegar with 1 litre of hot water. Add a little cold water if it's too hot for your hands. Place your scarf in the vinegar solution. This will remove any residual soap and also assist in the last exciting stage of felting. Keep the scarf in the vinegar solution for at least five minutes or up to an hour. Remove your scarf and squeeze out the excess water. At this stage, you can continue fulling to make the scarf crinkle and shrink further. When you're happy with your piece, hang it in a warm place and let it dry. Step 6. To prepare your new scarf for presentation, iron it to smooth it out. Now you've finished your own beautifully handcrafted Nuno felt scarf, a warm and stylish accessory. With every Nuno felt project you make, you'll discover new and fascinating ways of using silks, fibres, embellishments, threads and ways of arranging them to create your own unique textile art. For more information or for written instructions, please visit our website.